Okay, so do you have a reservation or you're thinking about heading to Marriott's Harbor Lake in Orlando, Florida? Well, we'll check it out right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy and just want to let you know on this channel, I like to share some of my best tips, strategies and advice on how to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. So if that sounds like what you're looking for, please be sure to subscribe down below. Also, smack that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. We're going to head into our one bedroom villa here. We're on the first floor in building number 29. So we're gonna go in here and take a look. It looks pretty nice. Okay, so as soon as we head into the unit here, we uh, close the door behind us. They actually have a uh, that do not disturb. Those are kind of handy. These are really nice. The magnets that uh, you can just stick to the outside of your door. That's kind of cool. And you don't have a uh, kind of like hang type that flops around in the wind. But uh, let's check out. As soon as we head in, we have a kitchen over here. We'll get to that here in a second. But we have this closet here. It has our laundry facility and uh, hot water heater. So you have your laundry, washer and dryer. Very handy always. The one bedroom units here at Marriott Harbor Lake have those, whereas the, we're actually in a lock off uh, one bedroom. The studio side, which we don't have, um, it does not have a washer and dryer. And then also you have your iron and ironing board. No vacuum cleaner. Sorry for those looking to do vacuuming on vacation. But there's a Bissell down there, so you can do a little bit of sweeping. You got a broom dust pan, that kind of thing. When you open this door, I notice that the, uh, the, um, ironing board kind of opens up on you so you gotta kind of push it back in as you open it, it kind of the momentum causes it to swing open some so let's go in and check out the kitchen this is actually a really nice kitchen when they first built these units they were kind of plain they did have kind of a cottagey look white cabinets which I actually did like but they didn't have the granite countertops they've since upgraded those and i'll tell you my maintenance fees do show that but <laughs> Definitely uh, have a nice large refrigerator and freezer, ice maker in there. I've already turned that on, so it starts making ice. Yeah, so lots of room, kind of your standard refrigerator that Marriott is putting in their uh, villas. It's in there a little crooked, but we won't worry about that. You have your glassware, coffee maker, toaster, uh, tea kettle, knife block blender, Got some coasters down there. Something nice I noticed about this villa is it actually has a six piece dining set. So that's actually pretty cool. Six pieces, we always tend to run out really fast with like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You're having to basically do uh, dishes every day. And just some containers and some extra cups over here as well, drinking cups. Yeah, so you got your stainless steel sink. Your dishwasher there, always very good to have. Oven, so that's great. And yeah, you got your standard utensils, you know, nothing too groundbreaking there. And you got your pots and pans. They do have a non-stick pan and a stainless steel pan. Their uh, pots and pans are actually a pretty decent quality compared to some other places that we've been. You have some nice artwork on the wall over here. That kind of goes back to the entryway where I came in. In the kitchen, let's head over here. Oh, before we head into the uh, dining room area, they do have this nice uh, pantry area. I thought this was pretty cool. You can kind of put your groceries in there. Something you don't always, very often have at a time show. You're kind of having to find places to stuff the groceries. And from the pantry, since we are in the one bedroom side of a two bedroom lock off. This here is the lock off door. So that goes over to the studio side. And this kind of has that feature where you can't uh, actually open the door into the studio. Even if this was unlocked, you still can't get in, but that comes with a drawback. You can also lock yourself out of the other side. And if you have the bolt lock on, on your door, you'll be having to call security to have them come and open it for you. So this is the lock off door. And just to be safe, I would suggest still locking it. 
let's head into the dining area and here kind of at the end of the countertop it's like a bar area a couple stools it kind of makes for very little room through here so we might move those and then Harbor Lake is kind of famous for this booth kind of setup that they have I'm not a real big fan of it the table I tried to move it it does not move if it does it's extremely heavy so uh, basically he's got like three chairs there and kind of that booth kind of bench setup but yeah some nice uh, lighting up here that's the same lighting that's over the uh, kitchen as well so that's kind of kind of nice and we have the living room two kind of side tables coffee table chair these chairs are really skinny but uh, and a couch over here this is a sofa bed pulls that into a queen size sleeper sofa this sofa looks like it's a little tired kind of breaking down here kind of on the ends and it's got that standard problem that all of the Marriott coaches have or seem to have lately is that board is not made very well and it just starts to break off because when you're sitting on it the screws aren't long enough to really hold it in place and it's not thick enough to really put long enough screws in so Marriott needs to invest in better sofas the next time they upgrade hopefully they've taken that into consideration because that is a big problem with a lot of the sofas that Marriott's been putting in their refurbished villas so yeah we have a coffee table there's that chair little uh kind of place there it would be good there's a let me walk over there there's a uh, plug-in over here so this is a great little place to um charge stuff right you, you set your charger there put your phone there put your cameras there whatever you got video camera just put it there got a little place to charge everything then we have our television they are putting the uh Remotes and little baggies here, it's just like at Ocean Point. We haven't seen that everywhere, but it is getting more common. So, um, yeah, they got a Blu ray player down there, and then just some storage. I'm not sure that I don't think we ever put anything in the uh, storage under the television. Maybe if you brought a few movies, you might put them in there. Just make sure you don't forget them. So, yeah, this is the uh, kind of the living room, kitchen side part of our one bedroom we're gonna head into the bedroom and this is the master bedroom and then uh, after we check this out we'll head back over and check out the patio so yeah here is the master bedroom or the bedroom here in the one bedroom unit nice king-size bed got some pretty good uh, bedding the bed feels like it might be a little hard we'll have to see but yeah got a ceiling fan up here I always like a ceiling fan in the bedroom got your television another blu-ray player and those famous baggies again I don't think we even used the television on our last day the last time we were there so they just stayed in the baggies and we have a closet here this is where your safe is so you can key code lock safe lock up any valuables we have an extra set of bedding so if you need it for the sofa bed or maybe you want something else just for your for the king bed you can maybe pull an extra pillow or something like that out of there plenty of hangers shop up there i'll probably end up moving that up there i'm not sure why that it's not all the way up there it's not sitting on like the luggage holder i don't get that oh fire extinguisher there don't want to forget that okay so let's uh head in and check out the bathroom just uh, me, your standard fair, your standard bathroom. Uh, that light is tied to the fan and the light, so hopefully the fan on is going to turn that off. But there is the toilet. No toilet paper, but they gave us some there. And uh, there's also plenty of extras that they've put in underneath the sink here for us as well. Your basic toiletries, you know, they are putting the pool towels in the villas. And the good thing about this villa is we have a washer and dryer, so we'll basically just rewash our pool towels all the time. And here is the shower. Nice big walk-in shower. And it does have a, a handheld, so that is great in addition to just the kind of the standard shower head. So I always like having a handheld in addition to that shower head, even though I don't have one at home. But anyway, that is the 
shower. So now, we have pretty much checked out the entire unit. Let's head outside and take a look at that patio. Okay, so we are on a first floor unit. So, I, I don't know if they do this in all the units or if it's just the first floor because, I mean, somebody could bust through the uh, screened in patio there and potentially break into your unit, I guess. But they have this little arm that you have to lift up before you can actually get outside. So, yeah, so there's the uh, patio, standard patio, four chairs and a table. And another great thing, even though we don't spend a ton of time on our patios, it has the uh, ceiling fan, kind of just keeps the air circulating a little bit, keeps it cool. And there's also a plug-in out here, so if you want to work out here maybe, and uh, unplug something in, or if you're out here and you need to charge something, it's kind of handy to have. We'll have to see if it works, but uh, we sometimes run into that where they don't work. But yeah, this is the patio. and. Uh, since we're on the first floor, this is building number 29. It faces the driveway or roadway in here. So, uh, yeah, that's what we have out here. I think they call this Grand Horizons Boulevard or something like that. Main check-in lobby area is over here. And then we have other buildings through here as well. So it's kind of a neat little view. It would be nice to have a higher view, but we actually took getting a villa versus having to wait for a villa. So that's why we're on the first floor. They said our actual assigned villa was on the fifth floor. So there it is, the one bedroom villa here at Marriott's Harbor Lake in Orlando, Florida. If you like this video, again, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see another video about Marriott's Harbor Lake, check this one out right up here. YouTube, they also think, they think you'll like this one down here. And don't forget to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And remember, until next time, the best destination is always a timeshare.